today from TIAA Bankfield in Jacksonville, Florida. It's a special New Year's Eve edition of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Jacksonville Jaguars. Taking on the Houston Texans. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. Today, it's a good matchup in the AFC South between the Houston Texans and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Jaguar team. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners are four of their last six games. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Texans, it's late in the year. We all know it. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. And they will be led out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. And there's a lot of good to watch in the game last week. He threw four touchdown passes. A little Leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The numbers on the ground for Pierce last week. 18 carries. And get guys out. Other teams' philosophy, continue to do what you're doing best. I expect them to go ahead and use their top guys all the way through this one. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And he's got some space here. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 47 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries of the ball game. Pretty explosive run on that inside handoff. And when you're a runner of his caliber, you don't need a big crease. You really don't. But also what we're seeing is an offensive line that's taking charge at the point of attack, aren't we? Not only are they controlling the initial contact. Now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. On the move to his left. Smith catches left side. And all the way to the two yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A really good pickup of 28 yards. With that grab, he now sits at 200 for his career, and maybe more importantly, a first down. Smith again. Touchdown, Texans! Herb Smith Jr., his third touchdown now on the year. And the Texans are on the board first here this afternoon. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass his young quarterback throws and with the success at his team. So here are the Jags now set to get their first drive. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. I like this guy, and the reason I do, he tends to stand an even keel. Doesn't let too much ruffle him. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. ETN once more. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the... They go play action now. Lawrence. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Jalen Petrie picks it off. And the Texans are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. And that's what we've seen from this defense all year long because they've been so good at finding ways to take the football away. And they just gave us another example right here. A strong defense, that's something you're going to need to rely on come playoff time. And this crew has got one. There's no doubt about that, Brandon. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. Five, six, 
They'll start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. Cards. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Out of the gun now on third down. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. No surprise to see him running again. His now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down at 17. chance because they'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working on fourth down. Texan kicker Kaimi Fairbairn comes on from the left hash. It's an even 50 yard attempt, and that is no good. I oh, hit it well from distance, but he couldn't work it back in, and this will remain a one touchdown game. Let's have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Now Lawrence. That's going to be caught by Kirk. Now a play fake here on first down. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. And he's taken down, but not before he... Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. Yeah, that's good for a better what's done throughout a ball game. It always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle. It's left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Rolling to his right. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's a route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And oh, what a catch there by Allen. And he's going to have another first down. Because you're not going to just throw to your strength. The right-handed quarterback naturally will want to move to the right side to throw the football. But sometimes you've got to go left, and that's exactly what happened on that play. Forced to his left, still able to accurately throw it downfield for a completion. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal as he's able to take this inside the 10 to the 8. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Touchdown! Brandon Cooks with career touchdown number 60. And the Texans go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at quarterback. And they should feel. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And they're going to get this beyond the foot. Now Lawrence to throw. Looking for the out route here, and it's completed to Kirk. And he'll take this third and two. 
inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Open man is Kirk, complete. Number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Back to the ground with ETN. Evades him at the 10. And the Jaguar as he takes this down to about the five yard line. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. His fifth rushing touchdown on the year, number seven overall. And the Jaguars are back within a score. Well, they weren't messing around. First and goal, they don't do anything fancy. They just go to the fullback right away. I like how you phrase that because oftentimes they come back to the fullback when it's late in the down and distance count, right? In this case, first down, let's go get it right now. And he got it six points on the board. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the touchdown pass on the last drive, his second of this first half. As he'll try the pickup of five, here's second and five. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line. And to understand that they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Texans on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Pierce will try to pick it up. And he's gonna... They've really been targeting the tight end. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there. Kaimi Fairbear now to attempt the Texan field goal. It's a 39-yard attempt right hash. The kick by Fairbear is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. This out to the 25. Jaguars offense ready to set up shop here again. They find themselves down 17 to 7 as they start this drive first and 10. Lawrence. Lawrence hit and the ball is free. And the Texans scoop it. And they will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Texans touchdown. So the big fella gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown. Good thing he didn't have to go too far, though. You know the trainers were very happy about that. Imagine having to go get him in the end zone, escort him to the bench, and give him the oxygen. They were loving the fact that he got in without having to run very far. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Now Lawrence on third and long. That's caught by his tight end, Foster Moreau. And it's a fifth Gate route and still getting a decent gain. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. He'll drop to throw. Open man there is Collins complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeout with five seconds left. Not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. And he missed it. It's no good. And the lead will hold at 10. On to our EA Sports halftime report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. 
We'll start our tour out in the city of Angels, Los Angeles. And it's the Mounties who are out in front. Brian Robinson with a touchdown run. Next, we'll move from Southern California to Southern Nevada as we head over to check on the Raiders at home in Las Vegas. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Minnesota Vikings. Devontae Adams, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. Finally, let's get to Silicon Valley to check on the 49ers at home at Levi Stadium. And for the moment, they find themselves trailing the visiting Cincinnati Bengals. Michael Thomas, a touchdown reception. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put... And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. And they get it. 11. Here's Lawrence to throw. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. And field across the 45. They'll run with ETN. And he's taken down at the 11. Now Lawrence. He'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And he's going to be taken down with another first down. And right at a yard. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Toss left side for ETN. And here he'll get it down. Here's Lawrence. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Touchdown, Jaguars! Foster Moreau, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars have got it back to within a score. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. That's the 20 at about the 21-yard line. So here's the Texans offense now. They get set to start this third quarter. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to be it, but the main goal Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Get their time and making it work. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And the Jaguars are going to take possession of the football. Well, it's not the first time we've seen him give one up here during his rookie season. And in this case, zone coverage forced the mistake. He's made some strides week to week in how he's handling the different type of coverages that he's seeing. But clearly, there's some growing still to do. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. They've gotten right back in this ball game after a very sluggish first half. Back when you won third down. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Looking to throw Lawrence and unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. They're going on fourth down. Lawrence, and it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way. We're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And Cooks has it over the middle. And they bring him to the ground just shy of 99 yards rushing for him, so he'll take that every single time. The last run got six, now second and four. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And a good push up front, and he's able to nap.
They go play action here on first down. Rolling to his left. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. In this situation, they're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. They'll look to throw. He gets it to Cooks. And they've got this down. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. He'll look to throw. This is caught. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Another shot from the one on second and goal. They'll run for it with Pierce. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Damian Pierce, his 12th rushing touchdown of the year as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't bet an offensive line yet. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set here. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that trend? First down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. On second and nine, Lawrence. They'll try and set up the screen to ETN. And he's taken down, but able to slough it. In desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Lawrence will throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The clock down. Get to the fourth quarter. Try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And oh, he coughs up the football near his own goal line. And he brings this one back. A fumble return for a Jacksonville score. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it. And you know that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. Probably at the forefront of his mind, just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And a nice milestone reached on that last throw is here late in the season. He goes over 4,000 yards passing. And he's really thrown the ball well all season long. Brown honed in on it and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And Pierce gets it again on second down. It'll be a gain of five. First half go because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. They'll roll him out right. I throw, but he makes it. And now it brings up third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that nearly the pick. A big one coming here for Kaimi Fairbear. This to swell the lead to six. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And that will double their lead. Pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. On third down, Lawrence. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Dance into his left. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. It's a big play, yet amazingly, because of how far they had to go, they're still looking at a second down here. On 
on second down. Here's Pierce. And able to get this offense so far on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This is third and eight. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Those feet in bounds, that's the question they've got to decide, and i got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because it didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the decision to with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it. But what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Buying time to his left. And that's complete to Cooks. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. They go back to the ground now with Penny. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Rashad Penny taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Texans extend their fourth quarter lead, and they are closing in now on a 14-win campaign. But that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two options. And offense is going to stay out there as they'll try for two. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you on to it, but a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. Here we go. Got to have it. Lawrence. And able to complete it to Moreau. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Jaguars. Foster Moreau with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jags have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. When you're trailing in the fourth quarter, you've got to take some chances you might not normally take. And here, that one pays off big time. And you have to think to yourself, not only did that pay off big time for them. Guard line as he's dropped at the 23. Offense back out there along with Damian Pierce. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him. On the first play of the drive there. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Pierce will try to pick it up. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough. Eggs with five in the secondary now on third down. Back to throw here. And this pass broken up. Our football as they take over deep in their own territory. So here now, Lawrence and the Jaguars. Down by seven. A minute 44 to go. Needing to... Here's Lawrence. And he'll find Moreau here. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. Throwing now, Lawrence. Open man is Kirk. And the ball is knocked out. And the Texans scoop it. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. And they were hoping to get down there, get the score, and get this thing into overtime. How deflating. Absolutely. If this call, and it's certainly a big one here, late in a tight game. 
Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Back to throw, Lawrence. They'll drop this one off with ETN. The result only four yards there on the play, and it's second down. Able to find Jones, and they'll get this down to now for Lawrence. Now a desperation throw deep downfield, and it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty, and with that, the ball game is over. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So for the Texans, they improved to 14-2 with still one game left to be played in this regular season. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we sign off.